With such a fantastic program and a devoted fan following, I know I'm not alone in anxiously anticipating the remainder of Cobra Kai Season 6. Their dedication has no bounds. They will stop at nothing to uncover any and every information, whether it be hidden details or game-changing spoilers. Panels, theories, and spoiler subreddits on Discord are what I'm referring to dudes. Their contributions allow us to learn interesting trivia about Cobra Kai and speculate on potential plot developments. Those subreddits are really captivating to me. Whenever I come across an interesting topic, I quickly record a video to share with you so we can go further into it. I present to you now significant spoilers for Episodes 6 and 7. Part 6 Episode 6 of the Sakai Teikai Tournament will have several highly anticipated bouts, as I said in my last video, and I went over the specifics. These spoilers were leaked by fans who were fortunate enough to be on set of Cobra Kai and shared their knowledge on a Discord channel. Robbie and Miguel's dramatic 2v2 bout versus Dojo Berlin was one of the big spoilers. I was hoping that Robbie would be a little sidetracked throughout the battle since he was still reeling over Tori's return to Cobra Kai. I was worried that anything as emotionally charged as this may cause him to mess up, even though we all know how talented he is and I have complete faith in him. Oh, I see now that I was incorrect. A Reddit member claims to have been to a Cobra Kai panel, according to this post. It was interesting to hear that Mary Mauser, who plays Sam, hinted that the best fights were yet to come, which was already known. But what really piqued my interest was when Tanner Buchanan, who plays Robbie, said that his favorite fights are in Episodes 6 of Season 6. Numbers 9 and 10. Is it only coincidental, though? Not in my opinion. I'm beginning to think that Robbie could falter a little, but then recover and win the fight, much to the delight of the crowd. Why would Tanner relish a battle in which Robbie comes out on the losing end? He must emerge victorious in some way. This is completely illogical. What do you think? Even if he loses, Tanner would have appreciated Robbie's dedication to the battle. Where does it leave the other matches from Episode 6, though? In a battle that pits Hawk and Dimitri against Tiger Strike, the odds are 2 to 5. Now, I trust the same source when they predict they will defeat Tiger Strike and put an end to the mini rivalry. Nope, it's still going to be no picnic. We're talking about a 2v5 contest. For that reason, I think this match will rank high on the list of the most interesting and thrilling. I realize this is completely unrelated, but have you heard that Jacob Bertrand, who portrays Hawk, has joined the cast of a Korean espionage drama show? His next project is Tempest, a series for Disney Plus and Hulu. For some reason, I thought you may be interested in hearing it. Following that interesting anecdote, we may return to the original subject. Our two superstars, Sam and Devin, will be facing off against Dublin Thunder in our next battle. The rumors have it that Devin may sustain an injury during the altercation. Although this development does not sit well with me, it may provide an intriguing plot point in the future. Give me a moment, and I'll explain this. Finally, we'll see Johnny and Daniel engage in combat with Snake and Dennis. Indeed, what you heard was accurate. Part 3 of Correct Kid features Dennis and Snake. I can already tell this one is going to be fascinating. If they want to turn up the tension in the last minutes of Episode 6, I predict they'll reserve this battle for then. Who knows, maybe the action may pick up exactly where it left off in Episode 7. Therefore, let's get into Episode 7, shall we? A lot will happen in this episode, so brace yourself. First up, in the ongoing matchups, Quan and Tori will face off against Fauci Delano in a 2 2 encounter. Everyone knows Tori has been down since her mom passed away, but I believe that's precisely what's motivating her to work harder than before. Tori is more driven than ever to show the world what she can do, and I can't wait to see her reach new heights. There will be some very remarkable moments from her in this episode, I just know it. Then, in a 2v4 battle, Miguel and Sam will face off against Furia de Pantera. I'm expecting a thrilling spectacle. To enjoy the round, I think I'll need a bag of popcorn. Have you seen the footage where Sam is seen strolling down the beach with an unfamiliar character? My first reaction upon seeing this video was that this man must be the new Iron Dragon's character Axel. Everyone seems to be thinking that Axel is going to be Sam's new beau, but I suppose we'll just have to wait and see.
I have no further information on the matchups at this time, but the spoilers will continue. Do you recall that I predicted an intriguing turn of events would ensue if Devin had an injury during the match? Indeed, I should now explain it. It has been reported that Kenny will be brought in as a substitute for Devin, which has the potential to inject some excitement and change to the situation. That's why I believe this conflict has the potential to provide a thrilling new plot point. In addition to Kenny, Anthony will also be requested to serve as a backup. Why is that? Will there be other casualties? I don't see why Anthony is brought back into the game because Robbie's injury, as I indicated in an earlier video, would come late in the tournament. We can move on to Tori now that we've covered the matches. That girl, she's really unfortunate. She has my deepest sympathies. She has already lost her mother, and in Episode 7, she will learn that she was the victim of a murder. That's really severe. I'm among many who have speculated that Chris was involved in her mom's death. But Kreese's actor Martin Cove shot down this notion at the same conference I stated before, claiming that the character is often misinterpreted. Since he would never blatantly reveal the facts, a definitive statement is difficult to make. Honestly, I'm still not sure if Kreese is involved or not. On the one hand, I can't rule out the possibility that he isn't the evil we perceive him to be here. In your opinion, how sound is this theory? To believe that's the end of it would be completely incorrect. Tori still faces several problems. You know, I just can't help but ask if this girl will ever be lucky. Robbie is supposedly planning to dump her at a nightclub. Taking into account everything that she is already going through, it is rather excessive. The reaction Robbie will endure if this leak turns out to be accurate is devastating. I can see why people might dislike him as a lover. After all, he isn't exactly the best choice. It's particularly cruel considering Tori's mental condition. I can't wait for the new episodes to surface because of all these spoilers and leaks. I can't wait for the second installment to see how the plot with Tori develops. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. So guys before winding up remember to like subscribe and thanks for watching.